Good day, comic fam. Comics of the Voice here. It's a Saturday. I got a stack of books from my man uh, Matt at uh, Captive Audience Comics. Got my Timmies. Oh, we're golden. We're good. So stay tuned to see what I got. All right, comic fam, I got the voice here. And I went to my guy, Matt. I haven't been in a couple of weeks because I've been sick and dying. So some of these are from Christmas time because uh, Matt at uh, Captive Audience Comics, he'll put up uh, promos and stuff and he'll give you some deals. So I'm always looking for my Wonder Woman from the volume two to complete that 226 issue run. And I've got hundreds to go or a hundred and change so I'm just plugging away at it so I got one of the annuals I think this is one of the ones that I got a deal on I think he originally had it for five bucks and then I got it for four because he had like 20% off or something um, this is one of the two dollar fines issue 144 some wicked artwork on that it's good old John Byrne yeah this one was a four dollar book and I got it for like three dollars basically issue number 129 I think that's an Artemis I can't remember I'll have to look that one up and then uh, I have I've been getting a lot of Stephen King comic books but there's also another uh, writer that I love Anne Rice and she did a, a book called Servant of the Bones and I had no idea that she'd actually gone in with IDW and did a comic book. So I've been finding up all these uh, Anne Rice uh, books in, in the comics, which is really cool. So I got issue one, issue two, really nice covers too. These would be tough and high grade, all black covers like this. Oh, glare, goddamn glare. It's that ring light of mine. I turned it away, but it still wants to glare. Still messing around. Once I got my basement comic book room completely renovated and stuff, I'll set up a permanent studio down there. Nice little skeleton cover there. Issue number three. I don't know if there's more issues to it. I, I got to look it up to see how many are in the run. Because it's a big book, so I imagine she's like Stephen King when he did the Dark Tower series. He broke it into 19 separate... Uh, storylines and each one had like five to seven books in it there was one that was just a one one issue that was the uh, so fell lord perth but the rest were all like five to seven issues so i imagine she's done this too she's broken it into a whole bunch of books so that'll be cool and then i got just picked up some weird stuff some golden key goodness lidsville it's kind of a funny one Kind of going back to the 60s. I guess that's what they would uh, say, scoring a lid. But this is a hat, different type of lid. Um, Halls of Fame number one, Thunder. Thunder Agents number one. Just a... Some of these are just cover buys. Because I scroll through Matt's uh, post every Friday that he does all these uh, $2, $2 bins. And he just has like two full long boxes and just... This is the stuff you find. Some DC goodness, a thing called Night Force. What is this? First issue spectacular. Together. Again. Marv Wolfman and Gene Colvin. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. So Marv Wolfman. Had no idea. I just thought it was a neat cover. So I snagged it up. So some DC goodness. Looks like it's about the 1980s. Um, this one's a, just a brand new one that just came out not too long ago, I believe. Didn't this one? I think so, but it was only two bucks. So just a Society of America. I think I might have paid a full price for that one, but I got that one for two bucks. Another one that's just a cover by, it was really cool because, you know, spaceship and sexy lady 
called Stellar, Image Comics number one. This looks like a fairly modern book. Yeah, it's probably a modern one. Um, then the last two are my DC goodness. Again, two bucks, can't, can't beat it. This one I've been slowly working on the original run for is uh, Mr. Miracle. So this is issue number 10. It's not in the greatest of shape, but hey, two bucks. I think it was list yeah it was listed for six dollars and i paid two dollars for it so gotta love that so mr miracle and then some kirby goodness with uh, the new gods the odyssey is over but actually i don't think this one is kirby this is a new format oh yeah by Evanier, collins and lewis so but it's got that si came same kind of uh look to it so not bad. A couple of DC books, some gold key and some oddballs and get my Wonder Woman stuff going on. So that's my unbagging from Captive Audience Comics. So hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you on the next one.